Hey yo, this is Dash, and today you're gonna help me. Well, I'm gonna be cutting up and filleting a piece of Atlantic salmon. This is uh, Canadian salmon, and I sell salmon. You guys know, some of you guys know, I sell salmon. I sell salmon by the fillet, so the half of the salmon. Now, today I have an event later today that I'm cooking for, but this particular piece of salmon or these pieces of salmon that I'm gonna be using today, what I have to do is I have to butcher or I don't know what the, the correct term is, but I have to cut it up and trim it myself because where I went to Restaurant Depot to get the salmon, they only had, the, the salmon fillets they had were $10 a fillet uh, per pound and I couldn't afford that for what I'm charging as to what I would be making off of it. So I'm gonna have to take a whole salmon and cut it up myself. So that's what we have in store today. So join me as I cut up <laughs> the salmon. Now, keep in mind, I am no professional. Don't claim to be. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim. I'm gonna get the head off. I'm gonna get the backbone out and I'm gonna get my two fillets and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Again, I'm not a professional. This is just me getting it done, basically. All right, so I have a couple knives here, and I have my beautiful cutting board. Now this cutting board is um, 18 and, um, I think it's 18 and a half inches wide, and it's 35 inches long. This was provided to me by customcuttingboardsrus.com. So if you could check it out, this one is called the brisket board, and you can see it's plenty big enough to cut a whole brisket on, but I'm, I'm today gonna be using it to fillet salmon. Ew. So this is Dash. Get ready. Okay guys, so again, I'm by no means a professional and we have, I have my salmon salmon here. And again, this is a whole Atlantic salmon and I am simply going to try and get it cut up. <clears throat> now, I don't know whether I should leave the head on or take the head off first, but I am going to try and trim this up. Now I am right-handed <clears throat> because of the fact that I'm right-handed, it's gonna be easier for me to go this way across the salmon. So I'm going to hope that I can do that and I'm going to flip this over because I'm going to cut along the backbone and get this fillet out. Then I'll flip the fish over and I will come from the tail towards the head. So now, first things first, I'm going to cut back and behind the fin here, and I don't know which fin it is, so pardon me for not knowing. Now I will tell you, the fish head, I am going to keep the fish head as well as the spine. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna smoke it, and my family, we're gonna eat it, and that'll be that. So, I'm gonna come in here, and I wish I could, let's see if I can get a better, I might have to move, like do some camera moving, moving, but I'm gonna get in here and I think I'm, I'm gonna start over. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so I really want to make sure I have the best camera angles available for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So please bear with me. Again, I am no professional fishmonger. So what I'm gonna try to do, and you see, I moved the camera so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing. So what I did, the first thing that I did was I came in and I separated the, or I, yeah, separated the head from this side of the fillet. Now I'm gonna come in and basically feel where the backbone is and I'm just gonna get in here and push in and down along where the spine is. Going up over the, I guess that's the dorsal fin. Again, I, I don't know. 
And then now that I can see what's going on in here, I'm just gonna come in and push in and down. Now, on this top side of the fish, you have bones that come out and down all along in here. What you're gonna have to do is once you trim those bones, those bones come in and around and this is what holds up the, the um, I guess this would be kind of like the rib cage. <clears throat> I'm gonna come in and you pop each one of those bones. But once you get down here, there's no more bones down that come this way. All you have to worry about is the bones on the spine. And then we'll just keep coming down and across. So I'm gonna lift up on the meat here and you can feel and hear me getting the meat off of the, the bones from the, the rib cage there. And I wanna make sure that I get as much of this meat as possible. So we're gonna go in and down. Now those of you guys who are familiar with cutting fish can please leave me comments on what I can do better. I'm gonna come all the way down to the tail. And we have the filet is getting exposed and we're just gonna keep coming down and across. Now that I can see everything, I can peel this back. And once I peel it back, I feel these are the bones that I was trying to now, what I should have done is came in and cut these like this, and then I could pull those bones out of the flesh. But I went a little too shallow, and I'll have to remember that for the other side. And I can come across here and free up the fillet. Now, once I get down to the bottom, I'm just gonna cut the bottom portion off. And I have one fillet done. So now I have to trim this up. I'll trim this up. I'll get a lot of this belly fat meat off. I'll trim that down. And in here, you'll see, you can feel the, the I don't know what bones these are called, but there are bones down in here. And what I'll do is I'll take a pair of needle nose pliers and I'll pluck those out. So I'll show you that a little later. Let me get a piece of foil to put this on while I work on the other side. All right, so one side down, one, one side down, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the fish over and get the other side started and taken care of. Now again, because I'm right-handed, I really wanna work from my right to my left, but I just don't know if that's gonna work out. So what I'll do is I'll flip the fish over and I'll get it started. Come in behind the head. Trimmed around the, the fin. All right, so now I have that part done. I'm gonna try to start in about here and work my way into the fish this way and then I'll work my way back that way. I'm trying to let the knife do the majority of the work and I already know that you guys who probably trim salmon way more often than me are screaming in the comments because I know I'm doing a horrible job but this is what I had to do.
Now all I'm trying to do at this point is separate the spine, the backbone from the filet and I'll clean this up later or momentarily. Now, as you can see on the spine here, there's plenty of meat on this in, in the spine. So what's gonna happen with this? I'm gonna I, I'm gonna smoke this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut these into some pieces, and this will be my family will pick off of this. While let's just alright. And we'll get the head separated from the spine. I will also cook the head. I don't know if I should split the head in half, but I don't know. But here are my pieces, and you can see on the on the one side I, got, I did a lot better because I was able to get closer to the spine than I did on the opposite side, and and I left some some meat there. But it's fine again because my family we're going to eat this part. Now I'm going to cut the tail off and just to make it easier for me to, to use and do things with. And let's get these fins off too. Now I'll rinse these off and I'll throw those out on the smoker and they'll be fine for, like I said, for my family to eat. Now let's come back in here and trim the fillets that I have. And I'm gonna get them cleaned up. So here we are, we have everything to the point where we're getting ready to, to clean this up. Now, on, you can kind of see some of these, I guess these are the bones on the rib cage. I'm gonna come in and through here and trim down this way. And this will also be parts of the filet that I'm going to have for my family. So we'll just kind of get this trimmed and squared up. Cut those bones out. And then at this point, I'm gonna come across here. And so this is going towards the family pile. And this is what you typically see as far as a filet of salmon from the market or wherever you get your salmon from. This is what it looks like. I could come in here and I could square this off and make it nice and pretty. I, at this point, I'm just going to focus on getting the bones that are in here out. Now I have a dedicated pair of mini needle nose pliers and what I'm going to do is you can feel in through here you just go backwards and you got to get a, a decent grip on them. You just feel the bone get in here. There's no nice way to do it and plug them out. I'm going to, and you can, like I said, you can feel these bones. And you just come in and pluck them out. <clears throat> Trying to do this the best way where you can see what I'm doing. Now before I get this cooked, I'll get this rinsed off and cleaned up because at this point, it doesn't look the best. Obviously we have scales and fish gut stuff all over everything. Now I'm sure there's probably a special tool to get these bones out, but I found that a mini pair, and these are a dedicated pair of needle nose pliers that I use specifically for getting bones out of salmon. Now, I don't do salmon near enough to be really good, or I don't fillet salmon near enough to be really good at this, but I do okay, or I think I did okay. So that's one fillet cleaned up. Here you can see the fillet. <clears throat> and I'm gonna just run my finger up. I was just about to say, I'm gonna run my finger over one more time 
to make sure I didn't miss any bones and there's two right by where the head was that I missed. So let's run back across it again and now we're done. So <clears throat> all of this right here is like the, the innards of the belly. And we're gonna just trim that all back and down and we'll get it to the point where this is nice and clean and I'll trim the whole belly portion off of this filet. And again, what I'm gonna do with these as this will be my family, we will eat these pieces. So it's not going to waste. Now, if you go to a, an Asian market, a Lote market or H Mart, you can find these pieces of the salmon that they trimmed, but you can get them. They make great, um, you can make stocks out of them, fish stocks and things like that. So people do use them. And if I were into that, I, I could use it for that or you could use it for that. So come in, pull out the any bones that I find down in here. And these, I'm probably making it look very easy. You have to pull with some force to get these, these, these pieces of bone out. So don't be afraid. And the first time or two you do this, it's not gonna look pretty. So just get it done. Best advice I can give you. So, you see I'm pulling these out and the, the whole thing is because the fish is sitting out or been sitting out for a few minutes is starting to get sticky and tacky. So I'm going to get this rinsed off once it's done, wash everything up and then I'll come and do any final cleanup. Now again, if you, I'm holding the fillet up, upward and as I'm holding it up, I can feel the bones in here. I'm just going to grab them, grab them. And you might not necessarily, once you see where they're running, see I'm just plucking them because I can see them. It might be hard for you guys to see them, especially on camera and I can't adjust the camera because my hands are gooky now. Now, Mr. Hockett and Victor, I know you two are probably chomping at the bit and screaming at your computers because I'm doing something wrong. So please, please, please leave me some feedback. Leave me some comments. Those two are my, my salmon gurus. They are out on the West Coast and they like the Pacific salmon where I prefer Atlantic salmon, which this is. Right, I think that's all of them. I think I got a little too close to the spine there and I was feeling bits of the spine so I just trimmed that off all right at this point I'm going to get these cleaned up and I'll show you the 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 last of it but that was pretty easy I know I probably made it look a lot easier than it than it is and again I, I am by no means a professional this is probably my third time doing this Okay, so here you have my finished product fillets and you see this will be what you would find at the market or your fishmonger. So I, I, I think I did okay. You guys let me know down in the comments. Uh, this one is a little beat up. I could probably come in here and trim this, but I don't really want to. I'm going to just flip it over. Once it cooks, it'll kind of firm up and it'll be okay. I'm just going to make sure it lays well and Again, this is the side that was um, that I had to do 
I don't know how to explain it, but this is the the side that was easiest for me for because I was able to go right to left on the top side of the fish, and maybe Victor or 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 uh, Mr. Hockey, you can tell me maybe I should have done the the harder side first so the, the the whole fish was still intact. I don't know, but you guys, I'm looking forward to seeing your comments and and don't don't beat me up too bad because again, this is only like the third time I've ever done it. All right, guys, so hopefully. Maybe you learned something, maybe this was helpful. That was my intention. Again, the reason why I had to do this was because I went to the Restaurant Depot to get salmon like I normally get salmon. And I can get salmon anywhere from, it depends, the lowest I've seen it has probably been about $6 a pound. And the most I'm willing to pay for it is $7 a pound for a filet. Now mind you, these filets are probably between three and four, uh, three and four pounds. So you guys do the math. So these two fillets are going to uh, someone this afternoon. It wouldn't make fiscal sense for me to spend $10 per pound when I got I was able to get the whole fish for a little over $5 per pound. So I got the whole fish and this portion here I'm going to take and I'm going to use and we're going to eat it myself, my family. The head, um, my wife says she wants to do something with it, but I'm not sure. I might put it in the bag. One of my coworkers really loves when I give him salmon heads. Okay, so thank you so very much as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. All of the, uh, you know, let's check the boxes. So please do subscribe. If you have, uh, please check the notification bell so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. Speaking of live, I go live on Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. We typically talk for two hours. We talk about something barbecue or barbecue business related for the first hour. The second hour, we kind of just shoot the breeze and we talk about anything popular, you know, or anything that you guys have questions about. So please join me on a Wednesday night live stream. I would greatly appreciate seeing you there. Last and not least, thank you guys so very much again, as always, for watching. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a comment and a thumbs up down below. So I got to get this seasoned and uh, finish it or, or get it in the smoker, but I'll see you guys next time. That's the belly, the inner belly. I'm getting ready to trim all of that off. Okay. That's white. Go ahead and touch it. Oh, I didn't hear it. No. He has a tongue. I didn't know he had a tongue. What do you mean you didn't know he had a tongue? I don't know what's in his mouth. He barely has teeth. There's a full tongue in there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Man, I mean, the teeth are actually kind of sharp. Oh my. So, but you can, because they gutted it, you can see right through his mouth to where. Like, I'm not going to, but I can stick my finger right through here all the way out of the mouth. Like a little worm. Yeah! Oh, butter, baby. <laughs>